CLTV is one of the least agreed upon and yet highly valuable metrics in marketing analytics. This video is going to talk about what is CLTV, why is it important, how you should calculate CLTV. Let's get started. What is CLTV? Customer lifetime value or CLTV is a measurement of the net profit of a customer over the relationship that they have with your company. CLTV is an important metric that you can use in your cohort analysis, the segmentation of your customers and revenue analysis for your business. One example of using CLTV for a segmentation process would be combining CLTV with a response model to create a quadrant of your customers and to segment those customers to try to find who is likely to respond, but also likely to bring value to your business. So when you have that quadrant, you can segment those customers and target that top right quadrant. Another example of why CLTV is important for marketing analytics is you can take your CLTV and compare it across your marketing channels and their cost of acquisition. And then this can tell you how efficient a marketing channel is to going and getting customers that are valuable for your business. Now that we've established that CLTV is important and how you can use CLTV, the next question to answer is what is CLTV and how do we calculate it? There's two main ways to calculate CLTV. The first is going to be a descriptive approach. The second is going to be a prescriptive approach. Descriptive CLTV takes historical data of customers and describes that customer performance. Formulas for this can vary. Usually they all contain some form of time period, retention rate, and margin. An example formula is gross revenue per customer times by the margin of the customer divided by the churn rate. Additionally, you may see some people that calculate CLTV looking at the profit for a customer over a given period of time. Descriptive analysis is a good starting point, but it's not the best to calculate CLTV. Prescriptive analysis allows you to look into the future and predict what customer value is going to be which gives you the levers that are going to be changing that customer value to allow you to find those customers that are going to be more valuable. Two acceptable techniques for prescriptive analysis is regression analysis and survival analysis. Regression analysis is running a regression model over a specified period of time to determine what that customer's value is going to be. Survival analysis takes into account time and we'll look at what is the time to event for a customer. And that allows you to determine time to purchases and that corresponding profit for the customer. Both of these strategies can take into account marketing activities and customer attributes to better understand what that CLTV is going to be for these customers. Once you have that understanding of the marketing activities, you can do specific marketing activities to increase the value of customers. You can also use the customer attributes to better target customers. In the end, understanding the impact of the customer attributes and the marketing touch points on the customers in relation to their customer lifetime value is the reason that prescriptive analysis is a much more valuable than descriptive analysis.